the bar cart, a staple of the summer patio, and not just for drinks. In fact, it is very versatile. And joining us to prove just how versatile is designer Victoria Tanelli. Victoria, good to see you. <laughs> You're going to style one outdoor bar cart yeah. four different ways, but first explain why you consider it a staple mm. furniture piece. So I think the outdoor bar cart is probably one of the most versatile pieces you can add to your outdoor decor. It can really, you know, move around, of course, so you're not tied to one particular area in your backyard. Two, it can help you better entertain. It can function in so many different ways. It can help you better display the things that you already have. And it can also help you use your outdoor space with ease, which we'll go over, which is so important. Um, when you are shopping for your outdoor bar cart or outdoor furniture even more generally, this is gonna be a public service announcement a little bit, make sure that you're buying outdoor furniture that checks the boxes that your indoor furniture would check as well. So you don't, like outdoor furniture has come so far. This particular bar cart is from Article. I feel so confident bringing this indoors and styling it indoors during the winter months. It's this beautiful neutral palette, it has the teak wood accent and it's very sleek in all its lines. So for me, I could easily bring this inside and feel great about it. Got it. So it should be able to function in both places, like optimally. Okay, yes. let's talk about how we can sort of set up a standard bar cart. How do we style that? So this is a standard bar cart, but we're taking it one step further and going even better. So the, the usual tips and tricks is making sure that it's well stocked so that you can actually host your party and be with your guests. So that's a big thing. Make sure that there's tons of ice. I'm such an ice girl. If everyone's walking around with, you know, warm wine or warm cocktails, like I feel like everyone should just go home at that point. <laughs> like it's just, it's, it's just so important. It's such a small little thing. Um, but just stock up on all these things so you don't have to be running in Inside and you can really enjoy your party. In terms of glassware, just go simple. Like the Fiesta cups are just no more if we're adulting. Um, I would really go for something that's a little bit more sleek in its line. So here we just have something that's super simple. Every time I go to a restaurant or a bar, I love to take note of those little things that they do to make everything feel a lot more special. So a little, few little tricks when you're entertaining. So I have my signature cocktail ready to go. So I did a little menu, this is an Ikea uh, mirror, and I added everything with the chalkboard marker that I have over here. Every, the mix is pre-made so our, my guests can assemble. I have my simple syrup that they can add. And then this is like a little farm to table moment where they're cutting their garnish fresh. Can't get fresher than this and adding it to their, their drink so everything is really beautiful. Another thing that I see all the time is these edible flowers. If I'm drinking a drink with edible flowers, I just automatically feel chic, mm -hmm. you know? So I froze them all in um, ice. So it almost looks like they're frozen in time. And then I'm adding it to a cocktail here. And then I just imagine like topping this off with Prosecco. It's gonna slowly melt. And then you're gonna randomly, at one point during the party, have a beautiful floating piece of um, flower in your drink, which I just think is so beautiful. Lastly, if you wanna get lazy, no pre-mix, add a little popsicle. This is lavender mint, or no, sorry, lavender lemon. And then you just top it off like this. Like this is just so cute as well. Man, that is gorgeous. Now let's say drinks aren't your thing. Uh, you've got an idea for like a casual uh, bar cart and another way to use it. Yes, yeah, so this is called my wellness bar cart. Mm. So I swapped out some plants that are very soothing, like lavender, aloe. Um, instead of the, the booze, I did um, water infused water, or no, water infused water, <laughs> lemon or fruit infused water here, three different kinds. I've already hit the Prosecco. Um, <laughs> and uh, I stocked a bunch of towels on the bottom. If this would be great if you have a pool or a hot tub or anything like that. In the cooler, instead of drinks, I won't reach, actually here, I'll just open this guy up. I did eucalyptus towels. So I just did really cold eucalyptus towels. I put, I wet them, put them in the fridge, sprayed them with some eucalyptus mint, uh, or, or spray, eucalyptus mint spray. And it was, it just feels like a special spot. It feels like a special moment. Um, and then last thing, a little quick tip. Whenever I go to a party and I forget my sunglasses or my flip flops, it's just, I'm not having as much fun. So I went to the dollar store, grabbed a bunch of 
really inexpensive sunglasses, really inexpensive uh, flip-flops, and then your guests can help themselves. So I can't guarantee that everyone's looking stylish in the party at this point, but their eyes and their feet are happy, you know? They're actually not terrible. No, they're not terrible like, at all. They're really cute. These. And they're the dollar that. store is yeah. the way. That's the way to do it. So I yes. love that. Next, it looks like you have a little garden mm -hmm. on wheels. That's cute. This was so cute. And I am no Frankie Flowers. The mm -hmm. idea of planting a vegetable garden in the ground is just like a no-go for me. It's just way too daunting. This I can do, though. So I went to Valley View Gardens here. They have so much selection in terms of plants and vegetables. So here we just kind of built our own little vegetable garden on wheels. I love that. Also, you've even got something for the kids. So here I did a few cute accessories, and I think What's important when you're sharing a space with children, adult and children, that it can really transition really quickly back into an adult space so that the toys aren't everywhere. If you create this station, the kids know where all their toys and accessories go, so it can easily be cleaned up. It's also nice to display, like, all these um, accessories and toys are from Holt Renfrew, and they're actually beautiful, and they're really cute, and, like, I love the retro color palette of all these little accessories. If you have a really sophisticated child, there's sidewalk macaroon chalk you know like there's so much cute stuff so this stuff can stay on display if there's anything that's not so cute we can totally put it away on this cart you could totally add like freezies or popsicles to blow their mind victoria thank you